Um, what exactly is REV? Is that like we instead of fighting with the opponent, we're trying to play with the energy factors, right? Um, so that like we can manipulate the opponent without having to use brute force. Most of the pro most of the time, when people push onto you like this, right? Logically, you would think that okay, I need to be very strong at the back foot and so on, so that I can actually return a force to push back into him. But this is actually not such a good thing. If check push harder, right? And like the thing is, the more stability I want to give check, well, I, 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 I try by by stabilizing myself, right? The more check can issue the power because there's something for check to work on, okay? So what you want to do basically in REV is this, okay? If someone is pushing onto you, instead of trying to fight him, all right, I'm trying to redirect him, right? By for example, in this case, if check pushes through here, I'm actually transferring the power all the way to this hand, right? So if check pushes, right, it doesn't take a lot of force, right? I won't even need to lose balance, and I just need a tiniest amount of force and I'll be able to return the power back a check and I don't need strength to actually stand still, okay? Now, this return of path it is not like check pushes here and I push check back here. Because if I do that, I am still pushing check. I am not transferring and it still wouldn't work. The only way to make it work is that like if check pushes, I'm transferring, okay? Just purely by transferring, you can actually like get the opponent to go off balance straight away. Okay now, this is quite obvious, I'm establishing this part, okay? But a lot of times, um, okay, just push me here, I don't need to establish this part. For example, I can have a path that goes through here, that goes through my left hand, right? And actually like have a return of power through this bit. Then this way, again, that's actually no problem, I don't care how check pushes me. I actually did not require any force to try to like sustain this, this pushing, okay? So we have moved at RE3 from, from here, this big circuit, to this little circuit, right? To, okay, maybe, okay. If someone is pushing you, there's always left and right, okay? No matter, unless it's putting you on one point, right? There's always a flat surface of forces, okay? So I can actually redirect all these forces within this field. Now this is harder because like, you have to be quite precise. So which means that if someone is pushing you, okay? Like, um, still using the REV without using hands this time, you can actually do the return path quite steadily. Okay, this is getting a little bit hard now. Okay, let me re-establish myself. Okay, that's better. Okay. Now, why is it, why is check finding it hard to push me over? It's because like I'm constantly changing the distribution of force right here. Okay, so you will not really find that check was actually trying to chase me to continue to push me over, but I would actually have to um, move one step ahead of check so that I don't get pushed over. Okay. Now, with all this training, of all this practicing, right? Um, for example, like yeah, just push me. Okay. With all this practicing, of course, like this is quite static. Okay, just push out if you want. Yeah. This is quite static, right? Um, but like um, in and 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 of course in real life the opponent is not going to stay steady with this force, right? So that you can establish your REV by standing still like this, okay? Check, of course, as he pushes me, if he finds that, oh, this is not working, he's just going to try other things, right? To push me over, okay? So therefore, the key to the REV is that, like, you actually have to be quite fast in redirecting the forces, okay? You don't stay there, and say that, hey, yeah, no problem, keep checking, keep pushing me, I can keep redirecting, because check will always try to do things, right, to try to be one step ahead of my game. And of course, like, if, if he sends that, like, I'm pushing him over, and that my, 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 my energy factor is making him lose balance, it's just going to, like, regain his balance by doing different things, okay? So therefore, in real life, 
what you want to do is this, okay? Um, well, we we'll move the a little bit more. In real life, when we make contact, right, we actually have to dominate straight away, okay? Which means that, like, I'm not going to be silly enough to stand here and take this, but as soon as I contact, right, straight away, I have actually readjusted the um, check's power so that no matter what he does, I am one step ahead of him. Okay, so in terms of pushing hands, it's not necessary to do these sort of things or do these sort of things because like, um, like right now, whatever check is giving me, I'm actually losing it because like I'm, re I'm taking it away. So if someone contacts me, right, I would actually want to use whatever they're giving me to actually like um, use it back against them. So therefore like the moment contact, that's all it takes. That's all it takes to throw someone. Because like as soon as, if we do slow-mo, as soon as the power comes through here, I have completely redirected everything, right, and come back to this hand and out before the opponent can actually know what I'm doing. It's kind of like if you hear thunder, by the time you close your ears, right, by the time you cover your ears, um, you've already heard it. So therefore, like, that's all it takes. Virtually no, no energy. For, uh, virtually no, 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 no effort at all. And of course, like, if you take this one that step further and I express it more and I play with the opponent more, then it becomes, it becomes actually quite powerful and yet, at all times, you are not using any strength. 